All right, hello and welcome. My name is Jason Welsh, and this is the Arduino Bookcase. This is a product on Thingiverse, absolutely free for you to print on your 3D printer. It's also located on Etsy, just in case you don't have a 3D printer yet want to purchase the item. Now, let me give you a little bit of a history with this. Basically what I need is a thing that allows me to get my microcontroller, in this case Arduino, back and forth to work in my backpack or briefcase. I also want it to look cool when it's folded up. I want it to be a conversation piece. I want it to hold components. I want it to be lightweight and have some way of uh, being neatly organized when in use. That's a lot, especially when you get into electronics. You're like, oh yeah, you can fulfill maybe one of those goals at any one time, but to fulfill all those goals, that's a really good challenge. Now, uh, let me give you what this thing used to look like, and it still does. I mean, this is a good desk version of this. So this thing sits on my desk, and when I'm done with smaller experiments, so this would be a good uh, starting platform. You can see the size of the two next to each other. This one, when done, you can take apart, put them in the drawers, throw it in your backpack, good to go. But to have it as an experiment was kind of hard. So look at what happens. See all the wires, they're floating on top. It's kind of messy. Okay, good for maybe a classroom when you're doing little tiny things, but not for bigger experiments with lots of sensors. This one, um, I still have the storage. I have this area right here that I can put all kinds of doodads in, components. And then I can close that up. This is upgradable. I don't have to have this here. I can take it off if I want to. Um, it screws onto the side. So you can maybe add different things to the side later on. It's held together by a thing called a PLA spike, I call it. So what you do is you take a piece of uh, three millimeter PLA, uh, put it on your heat bed of your 3D printer, wait for a second, take it onto a cold surface, and then roll it back and forth and it straightens right out. Then you can take a soldering iron, I use a 40 watt soldering iron, and then I'll heat the tip until it flattens out and it looks kind of like that. That way I can grab onto it. Um, I sharpen the one end so it goes in a little bit easier through the holes. Okay, by the way, you're going to lose that, so make a few of them. All right, now, as you unfold this thing, uh, you still have access to this little compartment area. Breadboard. Arduino unit. And this is my prized possession of wire management. Okay, check this out. This is awesome. So, wires go in through these little holes into these channels and then out the other side to the breadboard. That means I never have to worry about uh, taking those wires out. I always have my what? 3 volt, 5 volt ground, my data, and I have another data down here. That means one could be always analog, one could be always digital, a couple could be digital if I want. I have all these possibilities and each channel holds three wires. Okay. You can take these out, you can interchange them, but the one thing I didn't like about Arduino is you know, when you buy the beginner case, you have these wires that have the little rubber ends and they get everywhere. And if you have kids, they're everywhere in your house. They're amazingly, <laughs> amazingly complex things that you got to keep, <laughs> keep a watch over, especially with little kids. This, the wires stay all in here uh, and it travels along with it. Use 22 gauge wire when you're doing this, and it works out quite well. Um, it's also called hookup wire. Not to be found anywhere in Lowe's or Home Depot, mind you, or any of those hardware stores. You're going to have to look up the term hookup wire, and it should be good to go. 22 gauge is very kind of rare. you got to buy it online. 
unless you do have a hardware store that has it and let me know that one. These are PLA spikes. Again, uh, same thing as before, just the ends are tagged on both sides to give it a rivet to hold it together. So you're going to end up printing out four of the tracks, each base, and a side, with an option of printing out the drawer and the cover. Later on I want to develop a skin for it that makes it look like a book. But for right now, I'm releasing the exoskeleton on both Thingiverse and Itzy. So, I hope your microcontroller days are a little bit happier with this product out on the market. Enjoy, print away, and have a good one.